Hello and welcome. Mecca just had a live stream covering a bunch of updates that they're putting in their mobile Linux device. And now it's a phone and it's got an NPU. Let's cover the highlights. The biggest news is a complete platform upgrade. They're moving from the IMX8 Mini to the IMX8 Plus. It's still a quad-core CPU, but it has some nice upgrades. With this platform improvement, the GPU gets a nice boost. This GPU supports OpenGL ES 3.1 and Vulkan. Kind of. Right now, the open source drivers support OpenGL ES 2.0, and Mecca is actively working with the open source community to get Vulkan and a newer version of OpenGL running. Memory and storage is getting a nice upgrade too, from 4 gigs of RAM to 8 gigs of RAM, and from 32 gigs of onboard storage to 64. Pretty nice. They also have support for an SD card in case you want to chuck in a couple extra terabytes. But here's where things get really interesting. They've upgraded their PCIe slot to 3.0 and changed the keying to B key. This means you can plug in a proper modem, and there's more space around the modem, meaning the support for modems should be better than the Librem 5. Okay, now for the display technology. They've switched to AMOLED, which looks gorgeous, but does potentially suffer from burn-in, so you gotta be careful not to like leave a terminal up for hours on end. They managed to make the device thinner, going from 16mm down to 14mm, but they had to cut the Ethernet port. They also changed the USB ports to USB-C ports. On the front, they removed the male pogo pins and replaced them with female pins, which will be much more durable on the device itself. This way, the modules will have male pins, and if there's any damage to those male pins, it'll be on the module and not the phone, protecting the phone from potential wear. To handle all this amazing new hardware, they managed to squeeze in a battery that's 30% bigger. They're projecting that this will take the battery life from 4 to 5 hours to 6 to 7 hours. Now here's the catch. This is going to drag out the timeline some. They're projecting first prototypes will land in May, and they're being smart about their Kickstarter launch. They want to wait until they can demonstrate working hardware. The price will also be increased compared to what they originally projected. I think they said something like 30% potentially. This has truly become a successor to the Librem 5, outperforming its processor and adding in additional capabilities like the modular hardware and an NPU. Not to mention that it has extra space around the modem, so additional modems will be easier to drop in. The first iteration of the developer docs are live, and it takes you all the way through building their kernels and flashing their device. CAD files are published, and source code is available on their GitHub. They are going to send out some of their prototype devices, the same version that was at CES, but they don't have that many as it is a prototype build. Still, I'm hoping I'll be one of the ones they send a device to. This is much more than just a spec bump. They've completely redesigned their device around community feedback. While I'm a bit bummed about the timeline, I'd rather they take their time rather than rush out a half-baked product. What do you think about all these upgrades? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.